Okay, this is about how to connect your Vizio TV to your router or to the internet and how to troubleshoot it and a back doorway around it because it communicates on a language that is um, not accepted by my router anyway. So I'll show you a back doorway. Uh, if you want to connect it to the internet and everything works fine, all you need to do is uh, hit menu. I guess there's, one, there's a bunch of ways to do it. Uh, you can go to network and then it's going to come up with whatever network you want. Mine's I love Hooters so it's already connected because it has a little Wi-Fi next to it. Uh, if yours is not well the proper procedure is you click on the network you want like I'll try a different one and then you type in your password this is my neighbors so it's not going to work. I don't know their password so let's say you hit connect unable to connect so you want to go back you hit your little red button right there on the right so uh, let's say it won't connect hopefully well it will because I have a setup but okay so we're connected to my network if yours doesn't for some reason what you need to do is go to manual setup ignore my numbers that I have typed in right there they're meaningless right now the ones that you need to know are wireless Mac 00199D53770A you need to write that down and then you need to connect a computer to your router with an ethernet cable it cannot go through the wireless network it must go through the ethernet cable as you can tell mine is connected to the ethernet cable then you're going to pull up your your uh, browser, either IE, Firefox, whatever you want it to be. And you want to go in the address bar, go slash slash, right pinky down that is, 192.168.0.1. It could be 192.168.0.1. 1.1 it depends on the manufacturer of your router so if one doesn't work go with the other this is action text it's a DSL router uh, then you go to wireless setup um, here's the problem with mine it doesn't accept the WPA slash PSK for some reason or hyphen PSK so what I do is I only accept certain MAC addresses you go to advanced settings uh, and then level three, limit access to certain wireless devices based on their MAC address. Uh, it's fairly secure. You can spoof those, but for uh, for the layperson, it's not possible. You want to check enable access list. Except all devices, except all devices listed below, client MAC address. Remember, mine was the 001990 dash zero a you simply type it in here with your dashes it has an example right below it so you can't mess it up you click add you click apply and then it's gonna say uh, you know well you'll be taken back to the previous screen so then once you do that you don't even need a security password on the TV you simply go back uh, hit connect to that network and then you'll be connected 100% so your TV is connected. Next, you have to worry about your computers. You got to keep them connected. Uh, that means you have to figure out the MAC address of all your computers, which is not difficult to do. I'll start over for you. You want to go to Start. Uh, if you're running, running Windows XP or something like that, you're going to go to Run. But here in Windows 7, you just type in the text field and CMD and hit enter so if it's Windows XP start run type in CMD hit enter uh, it's gonna come up with a command prompt what you want to do is type IP C O N F I G IP config space forward slash all A L L now it's gonna give you a lot of information you have to know what to do with it uh, you have to find the wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection uh, you need your physical address 00-25-d3-cc-13-e9 that's mine so you're gonna go back and you're gonna enter it into the same place 
you need to go to your advanced settings you need to click or you, on that client MAC address line you need to type that in as well right here 00-25-d3-cc-13-e9 so that adds to your list go through all your computers and do that anything that's on the network you're gonna have to do it with your printers too if uh, they're they're connected directly to the router but if you're they're connected to the router you probably already know what to do with all this um, here's the other thing uh, you're gonna th think based on what you see on your TV and when you connect to the network that you don't need a password and that people might be stealing your internet that's not correct if you don't have a MAC address which is listed then they're not going to be able to get on the internet. And if you want to, if you want to try that, prove that, just try and get on a network with a computer that you don't have the MAC address on there, and you're not going to be able to get on. Any questions?